Hey, 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 Mr. Zam here, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Ocean Block. As you may have seen in the first part of the video, we've killed the Ender Dragon uh, twice, and uh, uh, we made use of those hearts to uh, get this, this thing right here, the Wyvern Shield Control Module. Remember, we needed the Wyvern Heart, or the Dragon's Heart, to get this Shield Control Module, and we finally have it installed it in my armor piece and then yeah we have this kind of like glowing effect now so that is indicating that we are protected by something right and as you may have noticed as well on the lower uh, left bottom of our screen we have 130 shield in there so we're going to be continuing more on to the draconic evolution at this point right and uh we're actually going to be making use of of the crafting system to create something for the main goal of today's episode is uh, this one right here, Best Inferium Production. Also for our sub goal, we have Mechanism Components Automation and yeah, Miscellaneous Collect Quest Rewards. Uh, the reason why I wanted to go with Mechanism now is because this is super noisy. Right? In every update, our muffler gets deleted, which is kind of annoying. Right? I don't want to reset every update right so i kind of want to get into mechanism to get the muffler itself right so uh first things first i think we need to collect the request rewards also in between episodes i've crafted all of the tier 3 seeds and look at that we have all of this stuff right i also then uh put them in our uh, thing right there uh compact machine then yeah we have all of the resources uh to our drawer right here as you may have seen here this one right here look at that right so pretty darn cool i think that's all that that's all i've done in between episodes and maybe i move this one oh yeah and also killed two, two more dragons right so i think that's pretty much it now let's collect our quest rewards collect oh we got a necrotic bone cleaver a water wheel a manulin hammer uh huh Battery basic, cursed earth, swapping one, an ender tank, meat feeder, oh, an infinity we saw, what? Uh, a slimy mycelial, a stonework factory, okay. And, and finally we got this, the 8 times compressed experience brill. Ah, I've been wanting to get this. Let's talk about uh, this meat feeder right here. This is actually a pretty neat item. What the meat feeder does is if you store uh, some liquid meat into this meat feeder by just, I think we can just like right click a tank that has meat feeder in it. If I can just like, ugh, there we go. So if I right click this, as you can see, we have like some meat in there. Can I make use of this? You know, let, let, let me remove this, right? And then. All right, so we got that one. Now if I put you back there. So uh, this meat feeder will constantly feed you. And uh, yeah, you'll never have to worry about saturation any longer. So yeah, we don't actually need a healing axe anymore for the meat feeder will well do the same thing. Cool, cool. All right, so moving on to the next agenda of today's episode, which is again, you know what, let's, let's automate the, the whole uh, mechanism first. So this is what I'm talking about, the, uh, the, the system or the machines that I'll be putting at the back of our uh, cluster processing. The, it's the mechanism itself. So we have four metallurgic infusers, as you may see, one enrichment chamber, and this one right here, the ultimate compressing factory, which, well, we got that from a reward, remember? Now, uh, I wanted to get the components the mechanism components which are these guys right here the alloys one so yeah in order for us to get the infused alloy we need a iron ingot and we also need a redstone dust to create the infused alloy same goes to the other alloys in order for us to get the reinforced alloy we need the infused alloy and as well as some diamond and then same goes to the atomic alloy itself i want to get these components right here for this is the bread and butter of of the of the other mechanism things right so let's automate these guys first so uh i also i think i already yeah i already named that one 
since we're going to be dealing the same metallurgic infusers, uh, naming your connectors would really help you on determining what machine goes with. For example, I since I named this one as redstone, uh, this is going to be full of uh, redstone slurries. So now if we take a look at the controller, we can see that this one is carbon, this one is diamond, this one is redstone, and this one is refined obsidian. In order for us to fill the slurries, we need first to do some automation with our enrichment chamber. So if I set a recipe for that one, so I need enrich, enrich. So I need you, I need this, right? So this one is in, coming from the enrichment chamber, which we have uh, set up. We have a setup for that one. Enrich uh, carbon, how about enrich redstone? We also need enrich diamond and enrich obsidian, which, well, we still need to get the refined obsidian before we can get this route right here. So we're going to be mainly uh, be using the three first. So let's do, let's put this one. Oh yeah, let's actually put this one onto the bottom of this. Right, so actually we need a crafter facing upward to this enrichment chamber. So let me grab a crafter real quick. And we're going to be putting all of these guys right here. So this one should be configured to accept from the bottom and output, input and output to the back. All right, so that is all good. Now let's craft some enriched so let me uh, craft me one of this craft me one enriched diamond and also craft me one of this enriched redstone all right now we will get those enriched stuff and uh, well yeah make use of this interface to have like a backlog of this in re uh, enriched redstone so uh, since this is an auto crafting you might as well have to put the crafting card inside of our interface so that it will cons so it will set an auto craft for these guys whenever there is no buffer of these enriched stuff right here so let's see crafting grid now if we try to put the enriched carbon in there the enriched redstone and as well as the enriched diamond it's not going to fill it right because again this is an auto crafting thing so now if i put the crafting upgrade in there it will actually start an auto craft for those stuff and if I steady, uh, if I speed that one up, as you can see, we now have all. Uh, it is now starting to backlog some of this enriched diamonds. So pretty cool. Now we are going to be storing this uh, enriched stuff to our metallurgic infusers. So uh, the redstone one again. I think this one should be the catalyst or the slurry. It's the same thing. So uh, the carbon should be. Oh yeah, I need to set first the the configuration of this. So, uh, for the slurry, since we since uh, or like rather the extra slot is a is not re is not considered as an input and output. So it's a different thing. So we cannot just make use of uh, the violet one, this one right here, since it's a different thing, right? So let's just say that the yellow. Or the infused items gets inputted from the bottom right so uh, input and output to the back and then extra to the bottom and then we're going to be doing the same thing to every other uh, metallurgic infusers so this one should be input and output yellow to the bottom same goes to this something like that right but except for this metallurgic infuser we have a carbon uh, metallurgic infuser right and the only uses of uh, carbon is to create the steel right and then well iron ingot in a metallurgic infuser has multiple uses if we take a look at this it is used for infused alloy and in, and it's used for enriched iron so we want to separate the system of this two right here so that's why I have like a crafter on the bottom of this as you can see we're going to be putting a, uh, a recipe for that one so let's let's set up a recipe first. So if I make the uses of this, uh, I want this. We don't need the enriched carbon. So enrich iron, 
goes to steel grit and then this one should be this one right here so iron ingot to enrich ingot all right so then let's put this onto the bottom all right so this one instead of you know a bottom or extra yellow to the bottom this one should be input and then the output should be at the back and then well for for the yellow one let's just say this one should be on top something like that so this is so confusing by the way so again for the carbon since we set the yellow on to the top part let's create uh, an item interface or rather an item input and this one should be accessing to the top this one right here the upside right and that we want to put the enriched carbon in there so now if we take a look at this why is this why is there sand there oh weird yeah but yeah as you can see it has started inputting the carbon inside of this metallurgic infuser for again this is a carbon metallurgic infuser so pretty straightforward now let's set the other stuff so this redstone right here since we set the yellow part to be inputting from the bottom so this one should be down and put redstone in it and if you take a look at the redstone why is why is there sand here so as you can see we have those guys right there pretty straightforward now we need to set some recipes right so i need to set or create a recipe for let's see mechanism this one right here right oh wait this one right here so one iron ingot turns into one infused alloy and then one uh, infused alloy turns into reinforced alloy and then this one is one reinforced alloy turns into atomic alloy right pretty straightforward let's set uh, let's put this one onto the barrel uh, everything uh wow it's getting tight in here and then we want to set uh, the iron ingot to be so this is the input right so redstone this one should be input so let's get iron Right, so this one should be iron and osmium. Since osmium is used to create uh, the, the basic control circuit. Right, so this one should be something like that. And this one should be operating on the east side, which is the back part of the metallurgic infuser. And then for the diamond, we actually need to create first uh, the alloy the alloy thing this one right here oh we got those guys okay cool so for the diamond we need to insert this one right here right and then for the refined obsidian yeah let's craft first one of this oh yeah it's working with that pretty cool So we got a reinforced alloy. Now let's set a white list for that one. Cool. Now let's set the output of these guys. So this one should this one is the output, right? So this one should be extract, stack, random. And then copy, paste, paste, paste. Alright. Now for the refined obsidian, we need first to do some recipe for that one. So refined obsidian, refined obsidian, this one right here. We need to get obsidian dust, which well enrichment chamber can do that. And then for the refined obsidian, we need to make use of uh, the metallurgic infuser with a diamond sluice or a slurry in it. There we go. I think we only need the dust to create the enrich. Yes. Cool. Oh, which I already have those, I think. So this one is uh, enrichment chamber. 
right? And that's one right there, okay. And then a refine obsidian there. Or wait. This is the metal one. Actually, it's not there. Yeah, okay, okay. So this one should be in here. Something like that. Right, so we need to set... Let's get some dust first. Some obsidian dust. There we go. So let's get those dust. And put white list to the diamond one. This one right here. Enrich obsidian. And then let's set a recipe for that one. There we go. And then again. This one should be... This one. Alright. All good, right? Oh yeah, I forgot to put this on down. Right. So, uh, yeah, I think this is fully automated now. I believe so. So, now I want to upgrade these guys. So, it's... Let's set a pattern for those. Alright. So... You guys. And then you guys. And then this one right here should be on side of this crafter right here. So, now, if, uh, let's say, I want... Eight... Or maybe just five. Ah, yeah, you know what? Let's let's put that into ultimate. So I I need one, two, three, four, five. Oh wait, I think. Oh yeah, yeah I need five of this. <laughs> yeah, we can craft those. Pretty cool. I also need five of this. Okay, I also need five of this. And five of this. Right. So that will take a while since this one is, well, pretty slow. Yeah, it will just take its time, you know. While we are waiting, let's move on to the next agenda, which is getting a better Inferium production. By the way, if you are confused on what happened to this Metallurgic Infuser, yeah, if you want a like something like a detailed explanation, you know, because in this video, I'm just rushing this since we're really limited on time. So yeah, if you want some, you know, tutorial on how to do this, well, hey, yeah, hit me up in the comment section below. I will be glad to help you guys. Power pots, right? Remember, we, we talked about power pots, and yeah, we actually can now make them. So this, the first one uses the Traconium tier, which is like the very first tier. And then the second one, what, the second one is using the, the Wyvern tier, which we already, which we are in right now. So yeah, the reason, the whole reason why I wanted to set up first the mechanism is so that we can automate the crafting of the basic energy cubes, right? So this one requires the steel, remember? We yeah, I forgot to... So yeah, let's set up a recipe for that one. So this one right here. And then I also need to set the recipe for this one. And then let's see. I need to set a recipe for this one recipe for this one and recipe for the steel itself this one right here but well, eventually we're going to be using mystical agriculture uh seeds to grow us some steel but for now let's just make use of the steel grit that we have uh using those metallurgy infusers so Let's put you right there, and then for this one, this one should be, let's see, steel. G grab me one of those. Right, so steel grit. Now I need to put you on to this one right here. All right. So now, if I make steel, oh, I should put the the pattern there. Oh no, we're full. Let's get rid of you for now. Right. So now, craft me. Uh, let's see. 
Again, we needed the pots, right? The power pots. So craft me one of this. Cast iron block. Yeah. God dang it. So I need 9, 18, 7, 36. You know what? Let's craft me 64 cast iron ingots. Why not? Right? And while you're at it, give, give me as well power pots. The other stuff. These guys right here. Right. And then this one is just a botany pot, which I guess I can make a recipe for that one. This one right here. Right, so... Yeah, I don't have any means to craft the clay or like the terracotta just yet. That's not cool. Not cool at all. Uh huh. I guess this is such a weird pattern. Okay, it's like super random patterns, right? So I need pot. I think you can create that one. I think so. Oh god. Oh, I forgot to clay. Oh god, there's a lot of things going on. Oh wait, the clay shouldn't be in there. Actually, I need to cancel this. Oh god dang it. I should re-upgrade our, uh, our crafter here. But I guess you can create now the bot. I think. Oh, I think it just craft. Yeah, it, it just crafted it. Cool. So now power pots. Can I get this now? So four of you. All right. For some reason, it didn't get the pot. Alright, so I'm just missing this one right here. Which, yeah, it's taking so long because I crafted the, the tier upgrades. Alright. Whew. That took forever. So, mechanism. So, we have all five of the tiers. Nice. Then we also have the basic energy cube. Look at that. So, let's grab this. Alrighty. Look at that. Right, so let's upgrade our stuff here. And then I also need the, I think the elite one or the advanced one. It's the advanced one. And then elite. And then ultimate. Look at that. Damn. Damn, son. So auto sort on, auto sort on, auto sort on, auto sort on. And then I guess I don't really need to auto sort this. Alright, so yeah, I'll just have to upgrade. Or like put speed upgrades onto this, guys. Alright, so now on to the par pots. So, uh, the par pots is in the very middle, right? And then you, 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 and you. I guess that's it. Uh, I'm missing something. Oh, it should be hopping botany. I'm a derp. I'm a total derp. This is going to be our uh, best in frigium production. Because again, power pots, although it takes quite a lot of uh, energy, it does produce essence in a in a bunch or like in a in a bulk way. If that made sense. There we go, guys. 
Power pots. Hey. Hey. Hey, what's up? Look at that. So, yeah, you know, how about we replace this? And okay, so it grows every some. Uh, it grows every. I don't know. Maybe, I think that was sixteen seconds. I think. But it will give us sixteen in fume essence. Okay. So now if I upgrade this to MK2, it should give us 32 Inferior Essence. Right? So and uh yeah we can we can craft the MK2 actually. So it needs blaze mesh. So that's 18 rods. I think yeah, I I think I can do this. Also this one wait what? This is consuming 50,000 RF per tick. You gotta be joking, right? I mean, what in the 50,000? That is not cool. Advanced energy cube, four cast iron blocks, two blaze mesh. And yeah, we can. We totally can. Look at that. Holy crap. We're actually getting it. Right, so I'm concerned. I'm a bit concerned on our uh, power production. Because I feel like... Yeah, I feel like we're going to run out eventually. But yeah, these guys are whiny as, as always. Yeah, look at that. We are... We are decreasing ethylene, which is not good. So I might want to upgrade this one as well eventually. Alright, so uh, uh, there's going to be a plan in the future. But for now, again, Imperium best production. There we go, guys. We got it. Hey. We got it. Hey, look at that. So. Oh god, this is gonna... <laughs> This is gonna hurt my system, I feel like, yeah. Now, I'm worried. So this one is going to be 115,000. It's, it's actually using 115,000 RF per tick. I think it, that was 32. I think we just ran out of power. Holy crap, wait, wait, wait. If, if we... Oh, sh... No, 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 no. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, yeah, we actually ran out of power. So I need to up this. Five hundred thousand. There we go. So that should now keep up, I think. So yeah, it's keeping up now. Oh yeah, it just gave us 32 inferior essence. Alright. So I believe MK3 will give us 48 times. And then the MK4 will give us 64 times. So yeah. This is going, this is going to hurt in terms of power production. So I might want to even upgrade our power production in the future. So I think that will be it for today's episode, guys. Uh, yes, MK2 power pots uh, is insane. The, yeah, it did hasten our Inferium Essence, but then again, well, it also consumes a lot of energy. So we might want to plan on. You know, getting a better power production in the future. But that will be it for the future. So for this episode right here, this is going to all be just the MK2 pots and nothing else. So guys, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe as well for more content like this. As always, have a nice day. Peace.